Welcome to the 2020 East Syracuse Manoa Chapter of the New York State Business and Information Technology Honor Society's Induction Ceremony and Celebration. The purpose of our chapter is to promote and encourage successful business and technology leaders of tomorrow. Members of the society have taken many different leadership roles, chosen various pathways through their high school journey, and in planning for their future. Tonight, we celebrate these students. The Business and Information Technology Honor Society inductees and returning members have demonstrated their commitment to our high school, our communities, and particularly to our educational programs. As can be seen, in order to be eligible for membership, students must have earned particular business credits and achieved high grade levels in both business classes and in all other academic areas. Most importantly, these honor students exemplify the qualities of strong character, leadership, and service both inside and outside the classroom walls. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'd now like to turn the program over to ESM School District Superintendent, Dr. Donna Desiato for a few welcoming words. Congratulations, Spartans. Congratulations on your induction into the Business Honor Society. We are here to celebrate your academic achievements and to recognize your exemplary performance in leadership, service, and in your character. We also want to take this opportunity to thank your parents and your family members for making education an important part of your life. You have reached this milestone because of all of those who have surrounded you with the support throughout your education. In addition, we want to thank all of your teachers, your counselors and administrators who have helped to prepare you to reach this prestigious recognition. Congratulations, we're here to celebrate and we know that you're going to go on to do great things, both in education, in life, and in your giving back to our community and to the world in a very special way. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Desiato. We'd like to recognize and thank the district's executive cabinet, the members of the Board of Education, and our high school administrative team for their support of the business department. At this time, I have the distinct pleasure of introducing alumnus Mr. David Brannon, tonight's guest speaker. Mr. Brannon is currently an English teacher at our high school who has an impressive resume. While in high school, he was a New York State DECA president, and for two years he held the Region 9 DECA presidency and the ESM DECA vice presidency. Mr. Brandon is an award-winning entertainment professional and was a story and segment producer for Top Chef, Katy Perry's Part of Me 3D, Fox 25th Anniversary Special, Live from the Red Carpet, the Academy Awards, and Guiding Light. Introducing Mr. David Brandon. Good evening. It's an honor to speak with you tonight during this unprecedented time. When Mrs. Baker asked me to speak at this event, I thought, this is weird. I'm not a businessman or a business teacher. My previous career in the entertainment industry wasn't really business related, but tied to production and the creative. I was actively involved in DECA in the 1990s, but the 1990s, that's a lifetime ago. They probably crossed a lot of names off a very long list before they scraped at the bottom of the barrel and picked me. Wait, stop. That isn't my brand. That kind of thinking isn't marketing myself in a positive light. And really, aren't we all business people? It's true. I may not be a traditional choice for a business honor society, but I do have experience working in different fields, transitioning careers, interacting and communicating with a variety of different people. I'm an untraditional choice and an untraditional chime in an ever-changing landscape that is bucking tradition. I have worked, created, rediscovered, challenged, and built my own unique brand 
from my very different life and work experiences. And I believe we all have a responsibility to ourselves to market, build relationships, and be a business person no matter what field we go into. This revelation led me to the three ideas I want to share with you tonight. One, be your own business person. Two, create your own brand. And three, market yourself. We have this concept that a business person walks around in a suit with a briefcase firmly clutched in their hand and they walk into an office, pop open that briefcase and shuffle papers around. That is a 1950s Hollywood perception of a business person. But today we are all business people. As you continue to learn and grow, you will find yourself relying on the business skills you are learning right now to interact in whatever work environment you choose. Whether it be asking for a promotion, pitching a new concept or idea, interacting with a diverse group of people, or inspiring a workforce, developing business skills is an asset to every workforce. Brands were once the term relegated to advertising campaigns and big business, but the power of technology has forced us to think about the digital brand we are building for ourselves. Social media allows us to interact with a global community and colleges and businesses look for candidates with a strong social media brand that conveys the type of student or worker they are looking for. So while you can still keep Snapchatting your forehead to your friends all day, start to think about the public brand you want to create for yourself. Who do I want a potential college recruiter to see me as? What matters to me and the potential employer I want to work for? There's only one you. Make sure you're building a brand that represents your ideas and values. Finally, market yourself. You want that job? You want an admission letter to a prestigious college? It's all about you. Build relationships, make connections, and put out into the world what you want to get back. You're a walking advertisement for yourself, and that is true in any field. But I am not an expert. I even sold my short, sell short when thinking, why me? But my experience in the in entertainment industry and in working with you students and education professionals, I have come to realize that we have a responsibility to ourselves to make the untraditional choice the right choice. And that, my friends, is my brand. Thank you so much. I hope you're all doing well and be safe and be kind. Have a good evening. Thank you, Mr. Bowman. There has been a lot of change in your life. Before we recognize our inductees, we'd like to share some of the students' experiences in the business program here at ASM. We'd like to encourage you to be the change that you seek in your lives. This year's induction ceremony theme is Be the Change. And this is some of the highlights of our students doing just that. Our students have participated in DECA membership, been Spartan Branch board members, Spartan Branch tellers, bank at school students, become Microsoft certified or are going to be certified this year, students in Cisco IT Essentials or Cisco CNNA, or participated in the IRS VITA certified students this year or in previous years, been involved in our community tax tax assistant programs. In Cisco, our students develop systems that work, developing problem solvers of the future for computer technology needs. Our DECA students organized and ran projects to benefit our community and charities. Some of those include Comedy for a Cure, a comedy night to benefit the Carol M. Baldwin Breast Cancer Research Fund of CNY. Cares Catwalk, a fashion show to benefit the CARE Fund, which provides seriously ill children and their families with goods and services in the hope that these items offer some measure of comfort in their time of distress. A Winter Wonderland of Savings. Spring into Savings, a financial literacy carnival. Hoopers for Hope. Battle of the Badges, a basketball game. Brick by Brick, Memory Brick Sale, a Crunch Night, to benefit Unified Sports, and our marketing students' class worked to design and sell the Be the Difference apparel line that benefited the Jim and Julie Boeheim Foundation.
At this time, we'd like to recognize our 2020 Business Honor Society members who must follow the Business Honor Society pledge to uphold the high purposes of the Business and Information Technology Honor Society to which they have been selected and will maintain and encourage the high standards of scholarship, character, leadership, and service that are central principles of society. And now for our membership. Gino Abood. <laughs> Ali Abdullah. <laughs> Keegan Barry. <laughs> Tyler Bell. <laughs> Vinny Bova. <laughs> Nicholas. Brown, <laughs> Eric Callahan, <laughs> Lulani Carrion, <laughs> Adam Clendenin, <laughs> Ryan Donahue, <laughs> Cameron Yore. Rudolfo Gonzalez. Bradley Hall. Benjamin Hodge. Kenan Hozo. Jenin Hozo. Iran Jefferson. Dale Lepper, <laughs> Jacob Rubenstein, <laughs> Benjamin Sellers, <laughs> Carson Starcourt, <laughs> Caleb Thornton, <laughs> Rachel Underwood. And now, our Class of 2020 members. As a member of the New York State Business Honor Society, students will receive an honor cord to wear for graduation. Aslan Abdullah. <laughs> Kylie Beckman. Jared Ball. Christopher Bailey. Hunter Borkowski. Spencer Caramana. Zachary Christian. Logan Cowell. Michael Cox. <laughs> Meadow Dodge. <laughs> Gabriella Esposito. <laughs> Laquan Hunter. <laughs> Catherine Kirkgasser. <laughs> Logan. Lemel Baum. <laughs> Michael Neshi. <laughs> Joe Pacheco. <laughs> Devon Richards. <laughs> Sophia Rogers. <laughs> Connor. Rosso, <laughs> Madison Sage, <laughs> Alex Shush, <laughs> O. 
Owen White. Congratulations to our 46 2020 Business and Information Technology Honor students. For all your hard work, commitment to excellence, and achievement to rise to the top in school and business. We'd like to thank our guest speakers, ESM alumnus, Mr. David Brandon, our superintendent, Dr. Desiato, and our executive principal, Mr. Avellino, for their support, and our parents and family members of our students for joining this celebration. It is evident that we have an amazing business student program. And now, I'd like to introduce ESM Central High School's Executive Principal, Mr. Avellino, for closing remarks. On behalf of the ESM High School Administration and staff, I would like to thank everyone for, for attending this evening and supporting our kids. I am very proud of all of our participants this evening, as it is important to us that while we cannot be together, we must still honor our students for their accomplishments. We are excited to recognize our students who excel in our business program because of their strong character, leadership, and service, both in the classroom and through extracurricular involvement. Parents, we recognize you as well and thank you for all of your support, not only to your child, but to our school. Business by definition is defined as an organization or economic system where goods and services are exchanged for one another or money. Every business requires some, some form of investment and enough customers to whom its output can be sold consistently to make a profit. Students, what difference will you make in the world of business? Business affects our lives all the time. How will you develop success in business? Colin Powell is quoted as saying, there are no secrets to success. It is the result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. Steve Jobs is quoted as saying, great things in business are never, never done by one person. They are done by a team of people. I believe our school and your business teachers teach the important life lesson. You all have learned this year the importance of giving back, having fun, and making a difference. I thank our business teachers who inspire and guide our students. Congratulations to our Business Honor Society inductees as you strive for, for continued success. Thank you for making ESM High School the place to be.